podcast. Hey, fellas, this episode of the Jig is Up podcast is brought to you by K Cuts. Now, y'all know how much I love well-groomed beards. So when I'm here in San Diego and not on my world tour, I appreciate a man who takes pride in his appearance when I'm out and about. So I'm going to need y'all to do me a favor and hit up 619-582-KUTZ to set up an appointment and let them know that Miss Nessa sent you there. Now, shoddy, drop that motherfucking beat. Soundcloud music. Get it. What was it? Get it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, Jovan. And Jamal. Oh, Jamal. Damn, Daniel. They're in the background. Damn it, Daniel. <laughs> All right, and welcome back. This is the place where nothing is safe. This is episode 18, 18. of the Jigs Up podcast. And I'm your host. Yo, it's Marco. And I'm with... Oh, Zach. It's your girl, Nessa, a.k.a. Blazing Mommy. And I got Kmart here filling in for Mr. M. Easy. He can't make it tonight. But you know what I mean? I know he has to do his thing out there in L.A. He's a very interurban individual, so interurban. Your day, man. We miss yeah. you, man. What are the day? Get your money, bro. That's right. Interurban. Look it up. All right. <laughs> so, you know, if you haven't heard us before, just want to let you know, uh, if you are listening to us on iTunes, we need you guys to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. If you're on SoundCloud, follow, like, report, repost, and comment. If you're on Stitcher Radio, subscribe, rate, and review. Last but not least, if you're an Android user, and if you listened to last week's episode, <laughs> we need Android people to get on up. Please, yeah. Android people, please. Get on that Google Play Music and subscribe, rate, and review as well. And just to let you guys know, by subscribing, rating, reviewing, it helps out our show to move up in the charts and also grow our audience. So we love doing this for y'all every week, and thank y'all in advance. All right, so we're going to start off with our warm-ups. So uh, we're going to hand it off to Miss Nessa over here. Fresh off her war tour I'm in back. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. <laughs> Costa Rica. Yes. Okay, well, before I get into that, I just want to say a quick uh, shout out to. Uh, uh, she's going to remain anonymous, but I don't know Fuck if you guys. Fuck that. No. What's her the name? Is up. No. <laughs> it was about the girl that I talked. I mentioned a few episodes back that uh, she had a. Oh, oh, yeah, her. From episode eight? Yeah. All right. All right. So, okay. But Keep I just wanted anonymous. to um, just shout her out and say congratulations for graduating today. Okay. Three years ago, Whoa. she didn't think she was going to be here, period. And yeah, so it's, it's a beautiful thing. I went and saw her, and she had no idea I was coming. So that was pretty dope to see her expression uh, when I came out there, it's, you know, specifically for her. So that's a beautiful thing. Made me so happy. Um, But as for my trip for my world tour uh, i went to costa rica and um yeah oh mind you i graduated the day before so that was pretty interesting well, yeah, congratulations yeah to you yeah. too she's smart oh my gosh Lord. <laughs> we appreciate that <laughs> i like that i can't wait that part <laughs> um but the only thing i can say that i regret was um my choice of packing. So the things that I packed. What did you pack? Oh gosh, let's hear. You it. saw what I packed. <laughs> I packed nothing. I, but I didn't. <laughs> so I, can use, can use I packed nothing but bathing suits, sundresses, all that. Oh stuff. yeah, that's right. She was snap trapping. So you trapping. packed light. Yes, yes, because I thought I was going on vacation, but apparently I went on an adventure. We did hikes. We almost died. We walked like eight miles walking. And mind you, it's not like a straight path. We're going up hills. We're going down hills. It's rocky. There's animal cause, animals there because it's wildlife. Like, That's I, awesome. If Damn. you guys followed me on, um, on Facebook, every day uh, we took turns writing like, it was like Survivor Costa Rica edition. I don't know if you guys oh, saw yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I saw, yeah. I saw that. I and the all the stuff that we put, it was like funny, but it was like real shit that happened yeah. but we we might have like kind of threw dubs on it but <laughs> <laughs> but it it really happened like from the cockroach crawling out of our freaking um sink monkeys being on top of our roofs like it's to the point where we stayed at a whole or we stayed at a resort for two days and we ended up 
leaving to go to another hotel. Like Damn. it was Damn. crazy. But it sucked because we were like right there by the beach. It was dope. We didn't get no Wi Fi or nothing because our room was all the way at the end. It was mad tropical, <sighs> huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the, the mosquitoes, like oh, it was that. mad real. Like yeah, we had a spay mosquitoes. repellent every single day, not trying to come back with that Zika virus. <laughs> Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, that's yeah. real yeah. too. Oh, it's like, real no. out there. Yeah. So we ended up going to a hotel um, in Hako, which is where we stayed at, and um, yeah, it was real dope. So how are the people? Yeah. Like in Costa Rica. Like how you were saying earlier off the mic, uh, uh, Marcus was saying about you know being in other countries, not being able to speak their nat- native language. Luckily for me, I was with three Mexicans. And although Costa Rica and Mexico are two to- totally different right, things, right. of course Spanish is like you know the native or similar, but there's some words that were like kind of off. Different, yeah. But they were able to you know communicate with them, and I was just the black girl that was kind of like oh, okay. What do they say? What are they? Okay, cool. Like, so I was good. So I actually challenge for when it's my turn, because every single year uh, when we go on our annual, annual trips, each of us picks an island or, you know, a different place to go. And next year is supposed to be um, one of the other girl, Brenda's turn. And then after that, it's my turn. So for my turn, I already said I wanted to go to Dominican Republic. Uh, Republic. Okay. DR. And, um, but she kind of wanted to go too. So I said, okay, well, if you really want to, we can go next year and you could, that could be your choice. And then when it's my choice, we could do like Singapore or something, some like Asian ass shit. So I was like, that way, you know, or I could go home to the Philippines because I've never been. And that way, like, we'll all kind of be. You know what I mean? Like, well, oh, eclectic. And yeah. Cultural and so shit like that, that is going to be really mm-hmm. challenging, but I think Let's it would go. also be fun. So. But yeah, but my trip was cool, and no, I didn't get no. What, what did Ashley say? Uh, tropical eggplant. No what tropical was it? eggplant. <laughs> no tropical eggplant. I no. did not receive one of those, and I was not looking for that. You so. sure? What about sure. your homegirls, though? Not nah, they. Two of them are in relationships, so only two of us weren't. So, but no oh, but so, so Brenda got a baby. Yeah. Right. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Um, but the other girl, her name, uh, it, which was her cousin, her name's Rocio. Her and I were the only single ones. And when we when we went to the club, we ran into a few people that were um, they were out there celebrating, kind of doing what we do, but it was like males, and they all came from like um, I think they're like North Carolina. Someone was from Cali, Oceanside, actually. I actually, ran wow. into three people from San Diego. You, you know what? I, I still, I'm sorry to interject, but I'm starting to notice that Costa Rica is starting to become a hot spot. Like I'm seeing, yeah. I'm seeing on my snaps. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I'm. St- uh, I think I follow Karuchi on Snap, and she she she's out there in Costa Rica right now. Oh, and I'm just like, damn, Costa Rica's getting hot. Like, mm. so, yeah, so I'm missing. Like, and from those, and when we were doing our little Survivor Costa Rica, like people like that they knew because you know we were tagging uh-huh. each other. They were like, oh, I'm going out there in two weeks. Someone was like, I'm going out there next week. Like, oh, what can you guys, uh, what like what information can we? I'm like, yo, like everybody was coming out to Costa Rica within the next few weeks. So it was damn. pretty. Crazy. Must be cheaper or something, huh? Like a cheap flight. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. How was the food out there? Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, it wasn't bad, <laughs> but literally, because we wanted to kind of, you know, do like the whole traditional Costa, right, right. Ri- Costa Rica experience. So their main thing is rice and beans. Nessa don't like beans, but uh-huh. I, you know, ate rice and beans damn near every single day. Oh. And then sometimes we had meat, but like for breakfast, it was always rice, beans and um eggs and then like fruit or something like what they served at the hotel so i was just like man i'm ready to get like an in and out burger i want some taco Damn. shop like i was funny got eight seen days sign in and i seen no, you on instagram and i was like <laughs> You went to the casino, got a big ass steak oh. and lobster. <laughs> oh, when I, I got was like, back. Damn, I'm back. It's like, she just hey, had, but to be real, down. after that, like, I was so sick. Like, I, because I went from just eating that and we hardly ate because I thought I was going to gain weight because I haven't been to the gym faithfully like I have been the past two months. And then when I was out there, I, I, I don't know, I felt like we were eating more, but I guess like doing the hikes yeah, and the ATV, and like, it, uh, we were good. I came back and I actually lost five pounds. I know it was like muscle mass, but rice and beans. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what rice and beans do. Yeah. Duty. <laughs> but uh, um, I'll touch on it a little bit later. But before the trip, we were like, oh, mind you, everything we did was like an hour and a half to three hours away. Mm. Like, so if we didn't have a car, we would have been on stuck. Damn. But it went like it started off like 
I don't, we didn't even know if we were meant to go on the trip because I don't know if you guys heard, but cause, so we left Saturday morning. Friday morning, a volcano erupted. Oh, damn. So come Saturday, they were like, nah, we ain't flying you guys to San Jose. If we do, like, it, uh, they delayed the flight for like an hour and a half. And then if we did go there, like, okay, well, we have to fly you into Liberia. Then we're going to take a shuttle bus, which was like four hours. Oh. Then from San Jose, which is where we were supposed to fly into, to Jaco, where we were going, was an additional, like, three hours. So it would have been, like, seven hours. Like, it was just a hot mess. Oh, wow. Oh, so man. we ended up changing our um, uh, our rental car to liberia and then we drove from there because it was only like three and a half hours but just everything was like we were just kind of like okay is this are we pushing it or is it really like not meant to be right now so like so when we got there and everything was settled we we're just kind of like okay you know laws of attraction kicks in we'll talk more about that later but um we're like okay what's gonna happen on this trip so we're like this is gonna happen this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen and for the most part like everything did happen so mm. it was it was it was a cool experience um we went to Panama six hours away. We were trying to get that extra stamp. So that was this is my first time out of the country. I don't count Mexico because TJ, <laughs> TJ. does yeah. not count. That's Baja California. So, <laughs> you know, so but we ended up going to Mexico City on the way back. So we got a stamp from there. Um, in Panama, it was like 20 minutes away from the border. Mind you, the border, we literally walked over. We walked a bridge and we walked over this little like gate thingy and we were in Panama and we had our passports out. He's like, oh, no, I just need an ID. We're like, what the hell? But, yeah, I was like 20 minutes away if we wanted to get a stamp. But that would have been dope to get three stamps in one trip. Man, that would have been epic. Yeah. yeah. Right there, collecting them. Yeah. So yeah, it suck. was fun. Um, but like I said, yeah, everything was fun. And I'll touch on uh, more of the stuff later. But, um, yeah, you. I don't know if you guys see my waterfalls picture. Yeah, that was all really meditative yeah. That was a good picture, though. I, I loved like, okay. it. It was dope. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I but getting it. there and then on the way back was horrible. Well, getting there was, okay, it was bad because it was hot. But on the way back, it was pouring rain. And like Tropical I said, that weather. was, like, roughly, like, four miles, like, walking. Oh. Like, it was not the business. Oh, and then also I did um I did ATV. I rode an ATV. Oh, that's dope. Oh, I was nice. so scared. I was what? so so scared because when it was my turn, because we did we did doubles. So my girl drove, and then I drove on the way back. Of course, when it was my turn to drive, it starts it raining. Start raining, and I'm like, yo, and I never did. And she's used to it because she'd be doing it in Mexico. Me, I've never done it before, so I'm like driving, you know. And no, and not hey, to mention the fact, right before she's like talking to me in my ear, and she's like, okay, I'm trusting you because I did this before with my friend, and I guess her friend like they flipped over oh, on the shit. ATV. So mm. I'm like, this bitch gonna tell me this right before, and now I have her life in my hands. Like I just I panicked, and I seriously I almost like. You know what I mean? And we're we're in the mountains, we're in the cliffs and stuff. Like it's not like we're like just yeah, on a crazy like dirt a road. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. I'd be like fuck that. Yeah. Uh, we're That's a risk. <laughs> we're I mean, yeah, you were deep in doing that. You got I, I, I salute you on that, <laughs> Thank man. You. Yeah. I mean, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you didn't experience you said, Oh, it's raining, you going to Yeah, like man. I had to stop and I let her like drive for a little bit and then eventually we we kind of went like on a level area and I'm like, "Okay, I think I can do it." Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Okay, are you sure?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then Cause I feel like if I didn't, I would have regretted, and I do not like to regret things. Like yeah, you know, I try. So. You know, everything that I do happens for a reason. So I'm like, okay, I know this is something I will regret if I don't, you right. know, yeah, do, it. do it. So you gotta do it. It was a beautiful she thing. Did it, yes, she did it, y'all. She did it. She did it. Mama checklist. made it. On the checklist. <laughs> yes. checklist. Next up on the checklist, we got my man Kmart filling hey. in for M Easy. Uh. Don't be nervous, <laughs> nigga. Oh, oh, say no. it with your chest. Oh, no, I'm not say it with some confidence. Oh, man. Say it with some convention, my nigga. Man. Say it. Y'all heard me last What's up? episode. With your darkwing duck chest. <laughs> hey, man. You better dark get dangerous on this podcast. <laughs> Damn right. Jig All right. Up. So what's up, man? What's good? <laughs> man, I'm disappointed. <laughs> what are you um, disappointed why? about, man? What's uh, up? Oh, no. Well, I mean, it was um, last week. My Wi-Fi went off. No. And uh, AT&T. So... <laughs> Basically, what happened? You just put him on blast, huh? Yep. Hey, I don't, I don't give a damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. So, here we go. No, basically, what happened is that uh, my uh, Wi-Fi went down. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. It was late. Can't you guys can come tomorrow? I hit them up. They said yeah, they'll call me tomorrow, and they was like, okay, will somebody will call you around afternoon? What time I'm gonna go? I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. 
I didn't get a phone call, so I called him back, and I'm like, all right, hey, is, you say I send him money over there? It's like, oh, no, man, we're going to send it until June 1st. And I looked on my calendar, and what? I'm like, I was like, yo, that's a week. That was yesterday. <laughs> Damn. I'm like, yo, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was a week. I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all can't send money on me, like, you know, next, next day, tomorrow, like a couple days. You know, I'm, I'm a patient dude, so... I'm like, okay, all right, this is the week. I'm like, oh, no, I can't do that, man. I never heard nobody wave wi- to fix a Wi-Fi for a whole week. So I went to AT&T. Obviously, I went to actually to the store and stuff. They did the same thing, and they were like, yeah, dude, you got to wait for a week. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I was going to take the L. So they took some. <laughs> yeah, take the L on it, and then um, <laughs> they took some stuff off my bill, and they upgraded uh, me. So They I mean, better. Cool. Yeah, I, I know, so. And then a couple of days later, I saw some AT&T, AT&T guys. I'm like, cool, no problem. So um, they checked it. And it's like, hey, you know, this is my ID number. Can you check it out? He's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So we went in the back. We're in the building and stuff like that. The entire thing was cut. I'm like, what? where, 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 where mostly all the people at AT&T. I'm like, why did it say it's abandoned? I'm like, yo, like they cut off everybody. And not only I got hit, it was like, the entire building, the entire building got like actually uh, no AT, no AT and T. They have none. Even the barbershop, like everybody was out. Damn. So I'm like, Damn. yo, it was good. And then so, and then I got a phone call today, and they were like, hey man, I'm just gonna let you know, like they're gonna be changing the things and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a while. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna take my talents to Cox Cable, man. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, you're gonna pay yeah. a little more, but yo, you're gonna get I, yo, your money's worth. I'm my money's worth, man. You're gonna get your no, money's worth. It's stuff that put me in man. So I'm like, yo, so I'm like, everybody's gonna be out at ATT. And the, but the reason why is that is because the I guess they had a, something a contract with the landlord and they were like they were done, so they're not gonna get no ATT. So everybody in the building, because I have to be much on their own. Damn. So they gotta find their own Wi Fi one, yeah. which kind of sucks. So now I'm like, well, I damn, I just paid my bill. Oh, like a month, and I'm like, damn, I gotta cancel. But you know, I'm being cool with that. I had them for like four years. I had no problems, mm-hmm. and I'm a techie dude. And you know, I need my wife. But I'm also a big gamer. So if you guys want to play me, uh, just Kmart six one nine. Damn, on he's calling it oh, out. And, and Call, he's one. calling out the face Call of Duty, right now. You know what I'm saying, dude, you yeah, get it. You can get it on PSN and Xbox yeah, Network. PSN and Xbox. Man. Okay, Holla at me, wow. Kmart six one nine. How long? Gamer tag still the same. No we can't play me right now, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> situation right now. My wife, you know, my Wi-Fi is down, man. So you guys got to wait about maybe a couple he said, weeks. So y'all got time to practice. Yeah, That's yeah, what he's yeah. saying. Start practicing stuff like that for the main event. So I'm the same, but he said the main any, event. <laughs> any, anywho, man, it's just it kind of sucks. So now I gotta like I got call Cox. So I'm like, hey, but let them know that you're switching over. Maybe I'm they switching over. Like, hopefully they give know? me like a little discount or something like that. But I mean, just man, I'm yeah, like, you gotta up the ante sometimes. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, yeah, no, I, 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 don't, I had no problems with the with yeah. AT&T, you know what I'm saying? They're cool and all that, but, man, it's just like, no Wi-Fi, Hey, though. but it's a business, man. It's like, hey, I need my Wi-Fi. I'm paying all this money. I need yeah. I like playing my games. I like listening to my music. Y'all fucking up my flow. You yeah, know what I mean? man. You I'm paying you guys taking. for the service of the service of my pleasure of doing whatever I want to do when yeah, I'm on the man. net. I can't survive on 3, 3G, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> LTE and shit. Yeah, LTE hey. and shit. I mean, it's, it's decent, but yeah, come on, man. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, also, too, like, I put my music, my Spotify, I play exactly. YouTube, my game. So Porn. it's like, Yo, like this is it's inconvenience, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, yes. I, I mean, it could be, a, it could be, a, it could be a point. Like I was going outside and like doing some stuff, reading and everything like that. So yeah. you know, it was kind of cool. You know, lay off the sticks for a minute though. Yeah, but man, go walk around. The but y'all, y'all, y'all start practicing though. Man. So I'm saying, yeah. I, mean, I, I got two weeks. I was about to say, go, 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 go listen to Audible. Yeah, but man, you it's can't a even week, man. I was like, yeah, I'm opening up. It's like, okay, lay off the sticks. You know, I play almost every day and stuff like that. So you know. Yeah. But you know to do some things. Reading different. is fundamental. It's cool. It is. Take a break. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so man, you, you, got them, you got them comic books on <laughs> on deck too. So oh yeah. yeah, definitely on the comic books, man. Great titles, man. Listen, Gotta especially the, those. the DC Rebirth. Oh, man. Ooh, DC Rebirth. Man. Shit's crazy. Oh yeah. You three Jokers that? though. Three, three Jokers. Three though? Jokers, yo. <laughs> Shit's crazy. Yeah. For my definitely check there. it out. But yeah, that's my warm up. So I mean, I'm saying positive though. But that's good. That's yeah. what's up. As the word of LeBron James, I'm gonna take my talents to Cox Cable. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Now the warm up is taking their talents to Mister Oh Zach. Well, I've been talking sports in a while, so I'm gonna have to hit y'all over the head with it. <laughs> so it's finally here, the rematch. 
Game one's in the book. Yeah, talk, it right? is. Uh, yeah. Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. And game one just happened. We just finished up probably like an hour or so ago. Cleveland got the dick. So my question for you guys <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Daniel. I'm just saying. And we got Jamal they in the got background. The and he's a diehard Cavaliers fan. Daniel. Yeah, yeah oh, he's a dick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad game, but yeah. goddamn. They, the they got the dick. Uh, okay, so my question okay. is who do you want to win and who do you think will win? And whoever you think will win, how? what will it take for them to win? <laughs> oh, I'll go first, man. Go ahead. I'll go first. Uh, you know, in my heart. Well, you know who you going for. No, no, no. no. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's Steph go. Curry. Yeah. Let's do Plot let's twist, win. motherfuckers. I want Cleveland to win it let's for the very first time. I okay. want LeBron to go from King James to God James. Woo! You know what I mean? That's if he brings, kind of if he powerful. brings, if he brings a title to Cleveland, he will be a god. You know what I mean? He won't be king anymore. He'll be a god to them. So I would like to see that. Uh, happened for LeBron James' legacy for his haters to shut up. You know what I mean? LeBron okay. hasn't done anything to anybody but just get ridiculed and judged because he's not like Jordan. He's not like Kobe. He's not like Magic. Or, like, let LeBron be his own man. Exactly. Let LeBron have his own lane. You know what I'm saying? Let him his, his create his own legacy. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how he's doing it. Let him get it done. So I'm rooting for him, but my head and my brain says – you know, Golden State's the better basketball team overall. But and and it didn't and it and it showed in the bench play. Oh yeah, yeah. the bench yeah, outplayed the fuck out of the, out of Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Like Cleveland's bench got to step it up. And uh, that's what I gotta say about that, man. You know, I'm just being straight. So up. Go, so Golden State in how many games? Um, Golden State. You know what? I think I'm gonna up the ante. I'll say Golden State in seven. Okay. I think right. I think I think Kyrie and uh, Kevin Kevin Love are gonna show up and make this series a lot more interesting. Okay. What shout, about you, shout out to my savages, but uh, we was talking about this earlier, and I said the same thing. I said Golden State and seven. Oh, dude, <laughs> one of the going. guys out there, he Uh-oh. said he was like, um, he was like, oh, earlier he called it. He said Golden State game four, and I was like, okay, now mm. uh, that's. That's, That's kind of pushing it. I was like, a sweep though? Like, no. Nice. I was like, I was like, I want Golden Damn State it, to take it, but at the same time, I'm a realist. And I was like, if anything, like maybe game six, but four, come on. That's so And he's like, Well, I hate the Cavs. I said, but it doesn't matter if you, you hate it or not. Heart, like man. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I go with Golden State game seven. Okay. okay. All right, just like in wrestling, I got to make the tag real quick. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Substitution. All right, we got Jamal. Dan, Dan a.k.a. Jamal. Dan, Dan Cavalier Dan right here. All right. Cavalier so, uh, fan. Uh, I've been a Cavalier fan since LeBron came in the league. And when he left, I was mad at little baby Bron Bron. So, did you burn I'm, your jersey? No, I, mean, I did not. I gone, threw but... it in a closet and I hid it somewhere <laughs> under some shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I look as soon as LeBron left, I went to NBA. I went to NBA store.com and I bought my own jersey with my own name on it. So you ain't worried about that shit. Like <laughs> motherfuckers all the time, like, oh, you from Cleveland? No, I'm not from Cleveland. But I'm a diehard Cavaliers fan. With without LeBron, I don't care that I've spent eight years before he left and then he came back. So my thing is I said six, I'm holding six. Okay. Mm. I think that LeBron, after what I saw tonight, him sitting on the bench at the end of the game, white knuckling it, he's going to take over. He's going to have to take over. Like, he can't deliberate to his other superstars like he was before. Like, he's a great passer, and he's still going to make those passes, but he's going to have to do more than 23 points. He's going to have to go 30, 40 points and still get the assist that he was doing (laughs) and just rely on Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving to both be like, overly good role players for this series for it to work out. Mm. I think but they I might take six, game two. I still think they they're going to gonna split. They're going to they, they, split they got Golden to. State. They're going to... I, I think they're going to sweep it home, and then it's going to come down to the back-and-forth game mm-hmm. with the mm. last ones. All right. Okay. Mr. Mr. Kmart, oh. you got something to say? Yeah. I'm just agree. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, uh, yeah, with the Cavs, man. I really want them to win, but... In my heart, I think the Golden State is a way better team as far as with the bench and everything else. I mean, they have to have the same mindset. They have to – because LeBron's mindset, if you know, 
if the whole team the Cleveland have is the same mindset as LeBron once won championship with that passion, they do have a chance mm-hmm. and stuff like that, you know. Could it, but I mean, it's just scary too. The like looking at the Golden State and they just like just shooting threes and then just they look all calm and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> that's kind of scary, man. You know what I'm saying? They look like it's like they come there, they just mark it like that. Eh, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man, like. I know, no man. They, they just shoot the three. No, this place is three. It's like That's nothing. Like shooting a Kyrie doing like nothing. I'm like, ain't like man. You know. When you're at home, right? You're playing video games. Yes. You don't. You're playing Call of Duty. Yes. You go off. Yeah. Like you get to a tournament. Yeah. You ain't gonna go off like that because you ain't gonna play the same because you're nervous. Yeah. Same shit. But see, but that's yeah, why I say it's going to go to Game like 7 like, because of so. the hunger that they... Because these motherfuckers get paid millions of dollars and not be nervous. Hey, I'm in mean, love with Kyrie. They're they they healthy, man, so there's no excuse. So hopefully they have to step up. But yeah, I think LeBron's going to have, they have to step up. Like, yeah. He he has to, you know. Got to step it up. No, yeah, so definitely. He ain't, not, all right. he ain't doing all right. But y'all know about how I feel about finals and championships and stuff. Or I if just you don't know, how, how, how do you I know Brown one for the feel, city, man. I, I have always does. said this and I'm sticking by it. Okay. I feel like all that shit's rigged. Always. I've always I, I, said I've thought about that. Rigged. I've always said it. And you know how like on the um the Facebook memories, like I'm looking at all my shit for the past few years and I'm saying like the same thing. I'm like, oh this and this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. And I just feel like everything's rigged. It's politics. Like Damn. just just like the Sixers pick. I'm just saying. <laughs> Damn. It's like the sixth <laughs> pit. The Kim the, the Kim hey, man, I, it, You know. Matumbo, Matumbo <laughs> I mean, come on. A, even even with hey, football. Even with football. That. I know you needed that, but no, I, I was talking about the with the pig like like he did four hours before the uh the, the one draft pick. He's like the congratulations. Is goat. I'm just telling you. <laughs> he said congratulations. <laughs> he said congratulations to the Florida Seven Sixers. But it, no, it, no, it no, was, it was hours. It was, no, that was hours. Of, he did hours. Four, I was so nervous. Before. I thought the Kimbe fucked us. Like he knew. <laughs> yeah. and he said it. They're like, oh, we gotta do redo this shit again. Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, shout out to the Kimbe, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that hey, was, have you that seen, was pretty that, awesome, have you seen awesome, the meme though. where he's laying down on the ground and he's and holding, holding the lottery, lottery, lottery ball? ball. Yeah, yeah. 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 number one. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to the Kimbe, man. Don't go dumb. But yeah, man. Anything else, Mr. Zach? I gotta say this. Um. I got the Cavs winning in seven. Um, a, mm. a, a nice little stat my boy just put me up. LeBron James is one in six in NBA Finals game one. So, mm. and like I said, 80, like, I think it's like, a, I don't know the exact percentage, but it was in the 80 percentile that the home team wins game yeah. one. So I wasn't mm. really worried about the game. I know everyone's like overreacting, like, oh my God. I mean, let's keep it G. Cleveland did get the dick tonight. But <laughs> the thing is, is put some respect on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying they, they got the dick tonight, and if watching them play, just when they had a switch, there's a lot of you know, Festive Azili was getting easy dunks. Exactly, and if you're letting the bench, how much? How much of the bench? Uh, Golden State's bench have yeah. 30 Golden points? State outscored on the bench 45 to 9. Mm. And those that, four that, points, that's the game right there. It was 45 to 5 until the last three minutes, and the Cavaliers put in their bench and they scored four, four points. points. That, that's, Damn it, man. That's the game womp, right there. Womp, womp. That's the game right there. It it's all comes to a game of matchups. Mm-hmm. So, so, how I look at it, Steph Curry's going to get his. You just got to make sure. He's just not open range, just going in the lane, not getting touched up, or just shooting wide open threes. Make it contested, but he's going to get his. My key thing is, if you let Clay Thompson go off, <laughs> it's a wrap. AKA the black and white version of Corey Matthews from uh, <laughs> Boy Meets World. <laughs> uh, uh, the black John B, too. John B. Yeah. John B. I see that. If you let him go off, then it's curtains. If the Splash Brothers go off, it, it's just curtains. You know, nice. you got to let other people beat you, but it, you can't just let them have free reign and just get easy buckets. You got to make it work for it. Like in the second quarter, the bench of Golden State, yeah, they were making buckets, but they were tough twos, though. You can live with that. But at the same time, like you said, LeBron needs to be more aggressive. He might need to assert himself in the beginning like he did tonight. Mm -hmm. He went, think about it. He was going to the hole at will. He got a quick eight points. Then what did uh, Steve Kerr do? He brought in Iguodala because he was owning Barnes. So the thing is, I think LeBron does better when he operates out of the post more. He can survey things more. He can pass out of it. He can go to the hole more. I think he just is a better playmaker at the post. Kyrie's going to get his. 
But the thing is, I want Kyrie to take, I want him to be more efficient because he can mm-hmm. get his any time. But like the quick, th- the quick twos or like the long twos, I hate the fucking long two. <laughs> like, come on, man! Like, I just want to be more efficient. Kevin Love, if he's hitting his shots, you kind of got to leave him in the game. But he's obviously a liability on defense, mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. the only thing that hurts. So it's a, it's a game of matchup. So we'll see what happens in game two. But I'm gonna stick with Cleveland in yeah. seven. I want LeBron to win one for Cleveland. That that city de- needs it, man. <laughs> they they de- they deserve it. They've been waiting forever. Oh, like yeah. it's gonna make these people's lives, man. And like the thing with LeBron, man, it's like I think he's a good dude. I think he's paid his dues. He's an awesome player. I get mad when they're like, "Oh, we're gonna pass this torch to Steph Curry." He's like, "Hold on, <laughs> hold on." Steph Curry has been playing at the I'm gonna say elite level for the past three years. LeBron's been doing it for over a decade. Put some respect on that. <laughs> All I'm saying is, where the fuck is Team Swish at? All of a sudden, he doesn't know what the fuck to do on a basketball court. That motherfucker has been shooting lights out since the end of the season through the playoffs, and in this game, he shows up and he doesn't score. Like, I don't understand where the fuck Jared Smith went at, and I'm tired of hearing, like, oh, mm-hmm. that's just the way he is. No, that was where he was when he was the number two person on the team. He's like the number four or five person on this team, mm. and all he has to do is stand there, catch a pass and shoot, and he still can't seem to figure it out all of a sudden when it's big time. Yeah, I, I think uh, J.R. Pipe was uh, swacking those Bay Area chicks late. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, know, you know how you know, you know, know how J.R. Pipe gets down, yeah. man. That's J.R. Yeah. J.R. Swift, J.R. Spliff, Bonehead. J.R. Pipe. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to call him. Yeah, that's how he gets down. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, K. Michelle got uh, got nightmares about that dude, man. Yikes! You know? Yikes! Yeah, I wonder if Clay Thompson shoots a three on be like, baby, are you still down? Still down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, mine is on some geek shit. You know me, man. Y'all should know me by now. I'm a geek. Um, you know, man, I'm just going to talk a little bit about X-Men Apocalypse. It came out. Uh, Ninja Turtles coming up tomorrow. I'm going to see that. Um, yeah, man, just a quick little mm-hmm. tidbits I want to talk about. First of all, I just want to say Alexander <laughs> Ship. Marry me. Um <laughs> Damn it, you hear you hear that folks. <laughs> you know, this is this is uh Marco aka Light Skin Light Skin T'Challa, aka Beige Panther. Oh uh, my Beige gosh. Panther. So he's the Beige he Panther. Did not. Wow. <laughs> uh yeah. Um uh Apocalypse is a performance portrayed by Oscar Isaac. Uh he was more mentally imposing than physically. Olivia Munn brought my uh childhood of Psylocke on the big screen to life. Oh god. Um <laughs> Let's see. Jennifer Lawrence looked like she was checked out of the franchise. She looked like she was just there taking up space and taking money. Yeah. Um, Damn it, man. <laughs> Evan Peters' version of Quicksilver is better than the Marvel's version. Sorry, Marvel fanboys. You got to you gotta take that L. Fox outdid you guys in the Quicksilver department. Who shot you? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was a lot of fan service, but Brian Seeger's continuity is still fucked up. <laughs> womp womp. Um, ap- in my eyes, Apocalypse was a pimp. Because he was finessing the hell out of everybody to be a four horseman. <laughs> like, let, let me let me get it. Like, you know, he was finessing the fuck out of it. Like, when he when he got up to the storm, he was like, Oh, are you just using your powers just for petty things? I can make you a goddess. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? He finessed her, homie. He said that he did the same thing about uh with Psylocke. He was like, that power, I could make it better. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and not only that, he finessed two women and two men. He got it, an, he got Archangel who's like, I could fix your wing. Uh, <laughs> and made him Archangel. You know what I mean? Nah. And, then, and then and then Magneto <laughs> and then Magneto was like <laughs> Magneto was like, I'm gonna kill these people. And then fucking Apocalypse was like, Don't worry about these humans. And killed them all. Like you ain't <laughs> shit. And Magneto's like the fuck did you just do? <laughs> Come with me, and I'll show you. Damn it, man. So so basically, he enhanced all of their powers. He augmented all their powers. Wow. So, yeah. Mm. He was finessing the fuck out of him. He was a pimp. And Damn. the four horsemen wears hoes. Uh, <laughs> how does Storm, how does, how does Storm <laughs> fine ass look at? How does she look, man? Is she looking, is she looking good? Uh, Who? Storm. Storm Alexander Ship. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did you hear him say marry me? I said marry me. Like, he started it off with that. <laughs> marry me. Alexander Ship, marry me. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, this guy. All right. But overall, man, it's still an average movie to me. 
Um, well, I, I'll, but I'll still watch it. I will. I want to watch it again in 3D just to see how it looks. Um, the Weapon X scene, um, with Wolverine. You I mean I'm nitpicking, but I did want it the visor under Spoiler Wolverine. alert. <laughs> Y'all should have seen the movie a long time ago. Like, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why y'all niggas get mad about calling spoilers. Look for the people who haven't seen. X-Men, well, too bad, nigga. The movie came out like a week ago. About so. a week ago. Bobby Schmurda, free Roddy Roddy, <laughs> the Schmurda's <laughs> homies, free him. And then Gucci, and then Gucci got out. GS Nine. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, that's what I got to say about the movie. That was my little warm up. And now, let me get back to my little outline because I don't want to sound like my a outline. Fucking mis disorganized motherfucker out here. Disorganized motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So the warm up's done. So uh this was a topic of debate. And I know many men have been many struggling men. with this. Get friend zone from this Lord, they be crying in the zone They be looking up the sky in the zone Uh, Uh, Mercy on these niggas All up on that zone Them friend zones get real cold Have mercy on (laughs) many men Sign him (laughs) Many, 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 many men Nice guys finish last All right. right. so this is what we're going to talk about We're talking about nice guys finishing last And Uh, Kaylin's a fair, he's a nice guy, but you know what? Yeah. I have some points to point out why women don't fuck with nice guys in a romantic and sexual manner. Hmm. Sexual. Because any man could be platonically popular with women. Oh, yeah. That is, yep. that is very true. But, um, ladies, if a man approaches you, buys you lunch, try to court you, he's not trying to be your fucking friend. <laughs> Let's nope. be real with this. <laughs> Don't play dumb. Don't play dumb. It works though. It, 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 oh, oh, see, hey, oh, folks, I'm you, just kidding. You heard, no, just kidding. no, no, you heard, you heard no, it, folks. The jig is up. Is the jig is up. The jig is up. That's a, say it again. It's exclu- the, exclusive. It works. Though. It works though, right? It works. I like to eat. I'm only speaking for myself. <laughs> only you, speaking. Bell is it down. <laughs> you know so, But yeah, she you know food. what I mean. Um, you know what I mean. I, I know. I know, guys. You know, he's talking about like, man, girls, man, they nice guys finish last. They don't like me. They don't like this. Dude. Why do they always go for the jerks and all this? And there are some couple of points why. Let's mm-hmm. hear them. You yes, know, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, nice guys sometimes it could creep out women because it's like you're too nice, and it could be very disingenuous. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like if you were getting a gold star for being nice guy of the week. <laughs> and if you collect all eight of them, maybe, just maybe, you could get to hit it. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. And, and guys, you need to get rid of that mindset because a woman ain't going to give up that vagina in, with that kind of uh, game. No. Because it is a game. The nice guy yeah. game is a game. And it's outdated and, and very, very... Uh, just outdated. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just be yourself. You know what I mean? But if you are a nice guy I and you don't way. have it in your heart to not not to be a jerk, but have that middle ground mm-hmm. to let her know, like, hey, I'm a nice guy, but at the same time, I just might smack your ass. <laughs> I might just crack a couple of jokes on you just to let you know, make mm-hmm. you feel a little insecure, but still compliment you at the same time. Yeah. Like, hey, baby, them cankles look really good on you. He- you know what I mean? Cankles. Oh, cankles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, that, you know. Girl, don't worry about that pimple. I still love you. You know what I mean? Oh, and I got like three of them right now. Please don't talk about pimples. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But, man, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm gonna need y- I'm gonna need y'all help, man. I need y'all to jump in on this, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is a group discussion, man. Nice guys finish last. I know it strikes a nerve. I can see Killen's face. I see the. What's your story, yeah, man? Yeah, let, let's hear it. Let's, oh, this man. is therapy, Killen. Oh, oh, yeah, nice guys. That's true, man. Nice guys finish last. I mean, it's you doing so much. You're trying to get. You trying to do it. You, Mister Agreeable. You agree with a lot of things. You don't have uh-huh. your, like your own control over your own life so you screen everything that she says You're yes like, man mm-hmm. yeah yes man mm-hmm. oh yeah you like that oh yeah i like that too you know what i'm saying like that and because yeah. you, you're trying it because you don't want the sake of conflict and, and right. all that bullshit right yeah i mean it's boring so it's like you like it you like your friends that's when you get a friend in the friend zone easily because you do everything it's like oh yeah that's about it. there you go you always be in the friend zone because you agree with everything that she's and you're she not says. being they challenging you. so to her yeah you're not to challenging. To. they want the challenge because women like you know they you know i'm just that that woman likes to chase man 
They want to date. That is they, so they true. Love, they, they love checks. They thirsty. So they want to date. <laughs> you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, killing, so, dropping the knowledge. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. So you got to, yeah. <laughs> then when you you want to go out there and like, and just like, hey, do this, do that, agree. Because, you know, when you text him, like, if you don't text him, Text him every day, see how you doing, getting like a status update. When she's cold, when she's sick, you would bring medicine. Nah, man, that's not gonna work, man. Cause old uh, and with her on the list, with another guy, haven't called her in two weeks. Say, yep. What's good? Done. Uber. Done. <laughs> he said Uber. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, it, man. <laughs> and yeah, then- it, 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 it takes it takes women like to expose. I mean, it, you know, that's why the jerks. Thank you, jerks. I mean, you yeah, teach the me? women because it takes like two, <laughs> three, shots fired. Four, yeah, I, yes. oh, jerk. Oh, oh. No, not no, no, oh. no, no, no. You good, man? It's just like it, it takes women a while for like to expose them, like yo. They got they got to learn, you know. Women got to learn and stuff like that until they actually really yeah. want. It's like, oh, you want you want a nice, I want a nice guy, but it's like you know, woman, they, they, no, they say, say one yeah, thing, they say but one they thing, act, yeah. See, here you, you know go, fella. Here's the game. Here's the game right here, fellas. They say one thing, mm-hmm. but you have to pay attention to their actions, right? And I know. People say the past is the past, but you still got to do your research, homie. Do your research, You got to see what type of nigga she's been with before. Are they nice guys? I'm pretty sure they're not. You got to check but, the whole facts, man. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but but, but, but <laughs> I'm going to let Nessa speak up for the women. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because it goes both ways, right? Because yes. I don't think I don't think guys always just want a subservient, you know, women all the time. So, so what do you have to say about this? You gotta hold it down, Nessa. About the your whole... savage, your savage life crews <laughs> depending on you. <laughs> Boom. About the whole nice guys finish last. Yes. My yeah. thing is, okay, when guys, I, I feel like that's them playing the victim. Okay? Mm, playing the victim. Playing the victim. All right. Elaborate. And and, <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because it's like you guys already. And when I say you guys, I'm not talking to anybody in particular i'm just speaking no, no, in no, general yeah but like it's like you guys already feel like defeated and i have a perfect example about that because okay what's the example literally somebody was in my inbox and they shall remain anonymous and i actually think that he might be listening to this back, i don't <laughs> leave me alone hey you so, know you <laughs> could, i could face a lawsuit for this shit so let's keep him anonymous <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> defamation of character yeah yeah <laughs> It is the okay. Let's call him, we'll call him Carl. <laughs> call him Carl. Carl. <laughs> Carl, Carl okay, Winslow. Carl Winslow. <laughs> Carl Winslow. Oh, oh Steve. Yeah. All right. All right. So Carl if you're Winslow. listening to this right now, don't worry. You safe. Howdy ho, Winslow. Okay, okay Carl, you safe. <laughs> Too many miracles. That's why you Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kanye. But um. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed on some of my like pictures. Uh, he would always put like a sad face, you know. So people would like the my fuck? yeah. But listen, listen, listen. <laughs> hey, listen, what? listen, listen. Oh. So people would, you know, they'll do their comments to like whatever. He would always put a sad face, and I noticed it like a few times. And then I would actually come in, like, why the face? And then oh, nothing. <laughs> like you know. So one day he gets in my inbox because I had asked him multiple times because this is multiple occasions. So uh-huh. one day. Um, I guess he answered, but in my inbox. And he was like, because you're beautiful, I have no choice but to hang my head, be sad, and wonder what if. That's it. Truth be told, sad face and all, I think you are the shit. No disrespect, and pardon my French, a guy like me could... uh, a guy like me could only dream of calling a lady like you mine because you're so damn fine. Lost, My mind man. is just left to wonder. Stay beautiful and or stay blessed and beautiful. So I didn't hit him with the, oh, thank you. You know, I was just like, a guy like me, what's that supposed to mean? Um, and then I was like, oh, and thank you for the compliments, but you should never put yourself down in the process. And he's like, duly noted. And I'm like, okay like that's still not answering and i say no i seriously want to know what you meant by that dude so he said oh i'm probably a person you would never give a second look to so i said why is that and then he mentioned you know i don't seem superficial and basically based off of my conversation because mostly you know if a guy a nice guy hits a girl up the first thing they'll just like oh thanks and keep it pushing right exactly (laughs) and i mean i ain't gonna front i i've done it too but this, like at this point, I'm just looking like, why are you already shooting yourself in the foot? Like you have, like you didn't even Lack try to like attempt to be like, you know, like to come at me in any type of way. Like it was just, oh, auto- automatically, you wouldn't give me the time of day because of who you are. 
This nigga, Who the fuck am I? Like, wow. I ain't nobody. This is literally a couple days ago. So this nigga, yeah. like, basically he cheddar bobbed lost. himself. Hold on. Like, 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 he was, uh, okay, Uh-oh. okay. This Uh-oh. is Javon right here. Javon, ladies and gentlemen. Carl, hope you listen. Carl. You <laughs> <laughs> want Vanessa. Come on, Taco Carl. Taco shop. Yes. <laughs> and a Gatorade. And she'll call you. Damn. <laughs> and Gucci Cologne. Nessie, don't and tell her it's that easy. And, and, and don't Gucci tell her. Oh, if you see my snap. Yes, I see your snap. See, I helped you out just <laughs> now. Write it down. She, Write it down right she now. That hard to get to. That's it. You're good. <laughs> oh, Joe Damn. But she just want food. <laughs> yeah. Cheat code. Hey. Cheat code. Getting genie to Nessie. Yes. Oh man. That's funny. But but That's yeah, funny basically enough. that dude just cheddar bobbed himself. Yeah. He, he, he shot himself. 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 Yeah. Troy Ab himself. Troy Ab himself. Yeah. yeah. Cheddar Bob. Troy Ab. And know, Carl. This, Burris, Carl. And this was not meant to put you on black. Obviously, no one knows who you are. Only you and I know about this. Uh, oh, you're you blasted, know. homie. <laughs> no, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a done data. No, but <laughs> shots fun. <fine. laughs> Shotgun but just you know, and it's that was just an example because that's not the first time I've gotten something like that. So my thing is like when guys already like okay, I was listening to lip service the other night, right? And they were going on about questions like which gender does whatever the question the most. So I actually went into my group and I was like, hey, you know, and I put it out there. I was listening to lift service, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to hit you guys with some questions. I want to see what you guys think. Uh-huh. And um, on the, mo- like, that one of the questions was, um, who is more insecure, you know, men or women? And we were getting both. Like, it was kind of like a tie. And I feel like, I personally think that guys. I think it's men are more insecure and even some only a few guys said men so i was actually shocked that they agreed and i'm kind of shocked men. that you say men what, what, too what is that why, why do you think though Marco? i what's, mean what's like right? because men always have this front that they're supposed to be masculine that mm-hmm. they can't cry they can't do anything that show evokes any kind of emotion because they're supposed to be macho vulnerability and, and, and not showing mm-hmm. the vulnerability you know what i mean right. like uh I mean, just from anything, body image, you know what I'm saying? Body image is a, is a, is a major thing that's going on in, in men, you know what I'm saying? You see all these extra ripped dudes on fucking Men's Health magazine, and dudes be like, oh, fuck, man, I'm, you know, I'm trying to look like that, and they feel like they fall short of that, so they, what do they end up doing? They're taking steroids, they're taking all kinds of crazy uh, starvation diets, just like, you know, women do. In other you know words, I mean? they cheated. You know, I mean, they're trying to do something to achieve. Men, men are now, these days, are starting to go under the knife for penis enlargements. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. telling me that's Damn not man. insecurity? Che- che- you know what I'm saying? Cheat codes. And this, <laughs> yes. Real. Yeah, that's real, that's right real right life. Niggas go under the knife to get their dicks bigger. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I feel that men are being more insecure because, you know, niggas don't want to pull out a pull up their, you know, stuff in front of a girl and she'd be like, ah, you're just smart. Like, that would just crush <laughs> a man's world, man. Like, Hey, but well, real shit though. It would just that's crush. something preachy would do. Yeah, it would just yeah. crush a man. <laughs> that's girl. But, you know but guys, if Damn you guys, it, if you guys, if if guys have small penises, please own it. Like I cannot stand when guys have small to average penis and they're just like, oh yeah, you like this shit, girl. Wait, what? Oh, no. Like, you, and then that's when I I'm like, do you want me to lie? Do you want me to keep it real? And then that's where like the whole ego thing kicks in. So I'm just kind of like, do you really want to know? So just kind of like, if you have a small penis, like. You know, it's work on your fucking head game or something, but like, don't sit Damn there and be it, like, <laughs> oh, Damn it, man. Okay. I'm just saying, oh man, substitution, but Damn like, you. but like, about the whole penis enlargement thing, like, because that's that's some real shit. Like, guys who have smaller penises, they have to go and do that, or whatever, in order for it to enlarge. Women, on the other hand, if you got fucking no walls and shit, uh, what is it? You use that fucking vinegar, fucking snap that shit back. I wouldn't know about that, but vinegar. <laughs> Yeah, the vinegar bag. <laughs> but see, but that that's some like that's easy shit. But men, on the other hand, you can't just do no shit like that. So man, I just remember He's before these surgeries, you just had to trim the bush, and you know, <laughs> yeah. 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 Meeting the size and, and, that you think you need to meet. One thing you need to make sure you do is learn your partner. Whatever it is, you figure out what it is she likes, and that'll work 
way more than trying to enlarge your shit yeah. or doing anything don't else. Do don't it. Do it. Yeah. Just figure out what it is that she likes. Accept and do it. That. Embrace it. Yeah. I'll respect it, you more it, for that. It, it, exactly, man. Yeah, and then also, I, I do want to warn <laughs> my fellas, like the, some of the phrases that women use if you are in the friend zone. If she calls you dude, Uh-oh. bro, homie, any terms of <laughs> non <Bestie>. endearment. <laughs> Nigga. Nigga. Oh. <laughs> Wait, repeat that. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If she says he's like my brother, man. No, if it's no, 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 you have no, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't use it, but most. I, I think we're on the same page right now. But most of the times when people when females say like, "Oh, that's he's just like my brother," nine out of ten it's a times cover she's up. smashing. It's a cover up. Yeah. It's a cover up. So I, I but can't but really it's agree. dependent. But if you're saying if yeah. she's really like, "Oh, like this is no, like my brother," no, no, no. But it could depend on the context she's using true. it for that's too, true. because she could say that she could say, "Oh, that's like my brother" as a con- like as a cover up, like, "Yeah, I'm fucking him," or like, "Yeah, or that's I have my bro- fucked him," or "I have yeah. fucked him," or like. Oh yeah, that's my brother. Even though I'm fucking with you, I don't want you to know that I'm fucking him too. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> look, I was, I was actually with a girl. Uh huh. Started dating and everything was cool, and she literally said, "That's how she broke up with me." Oh man, I can't, I can't date you because you're just like a brother to me. I can communicate uh, so well with you. Oh. We can, I can tell you everything. And in my mind, I'm like, Ouch. that's the fuck supposed to be like. That's the whole part <laughs> of a relationship is communication is key. Yeah. So being able to communicate with each other is like whatever. But look. With the whole brother thing, like, I've been broken up on that shit, so I don't believe none of the whole I'm fucking my brother type bullshit. I really believe that they just trying to fucking get the fuck out there. Yeah, that, that's Tell that's all it. that is. But and then also, bad. another one is, like, giving and asking for relationship advice. You're toast. You're toast. Yeah, you're done. You're toast. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're toast. Point of you know no mean? return. Like, like, like if, you're, if you're having lunch with your crush, like, you love her, man. You think of the world of her. You got her on a pedestal, and she's talking about some other dude blowing her back out. <laughs> your world, your 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 Damn world it, is man. crushed. Yeah, Yo, you, you you have no appetite. You, you well, I'm sorry to say this, but give it up. The jig is up. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like oh shit, I just on take to my the shit next to go. One, you know what I mean? Like yeah, just go and, on and, to and, the next and, one. And to get out of that, man, I'm telling you, don't don't invite for lunch. Nope. Pay half of the bill. Yep. <laughs> And just nah, talk don't do it. And, and, and don't talk about anything relationship. I mean, you gotta let her know, like, hey, I don't wanna hear about any dicks you sucking or right. taking if it ain't mine. You gotta let her know. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, gotta so that's let her true. know. That's, you know what I'm saying? True, that's like that's like eating a steak in front of like a homeless person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Aww. You know what I mean? Aww. It's like eating a steak in front of a homeless person. That's He's just doing shit. that dude dirty. Man, and, it's the same, and it's the same way. And, 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 and it's the same way if it's the other way around. This girl could probably adore that man. She could probably adore that man. And he's sitting there talking about this trifling ass girl. Just like, this man, nigga. she throwing she throwing shit at me. Next thing you know, we fucking afterwards. She scratched my back up. And she's probably like, oh, my God. I want to scratch your back up. Uh, you know what I mean? So That's why nice guys finish. And then me. also a, a big, a big, big one, fellas. If she really friend zoned you. And she's comfortable to fart and burp and talk about oh, shitting man. in front of you. Yep, that's it, man. <laughs> and she's talking about body functions, man, beyond doing the number one. Yeah, bro. With it's the a door dun-dun. open. <laughs> oh, she, damn. You know, she, yeah, with the door open. If she can pass gas and laugh like it's a fucking joke, yeah, it's a yeah, done it's daughter, a wrap. On, on just, to the just next Just wrap one, that buddy. one up. And, and I say to recover from that, get at her friends. It's like, hey man, we friends, friends off. I'm gonna yeah, fuck yeah. your friends. Oh yeah, and and, and Since you, know, you ain't gonna do it. Yeah, like, hey Bessie, <laughs> uh, what's up with your homegirl? <laughs> you know what I mean? Real shit. And, and you got and, and not and and just you gotta court her too. You gotta court the other girl's friends too. You gotta start like getting at them, flirt with them, give them little flowers and shit. Now the other girl gonna get all little jealous. Like, oh come, I ain't getting that attention. <laughs> but too bad, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> this is what you could have got. I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey man, yeah, reading hey, is fundamental, you, my nigga. Hey, and I'm sharing the information it, to my audience. And you, you know what I'm saying? If you do good with the with girlfriends, like, oh, and the girlfriend talks about him to her, then yeah. it's like, oh <laughs> shit, I've been missing out. <laughs> this, <laughs> that's like the number one thing you do. Yeah, so whatever you like, you don't treat them mm-hmm. great. Yeah. You treat everybody around them great. Yeah. It's like, why am I getting tucked out? Exactly, exactly. There so man, go. Mr. Jack, man, I know you're 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 basically a married man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
And you guys all know me when I was doing dirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm, really, I'm really a nice guy. Yeah. But the thing is, is always the nice guys, we always hang out with the grease balls. Oh, yeah, yes. man. We and hang out with the grease balls, we don't, man. We never, we never, it never registers in our mind, like, why don't we act like them? Because we'll see, we'll see our homies dog out some chicks. Man. And, but they're, but those chicks are dogging out. They'll come up to you and be like, does... Does, does he could, like me? Does he like me? And you're like, dude, he's fucking this other chick right now. <laughs> yeah. right? yeah. But you ain't, as, but as a real, as but, as a, but as a real homie, yeah. you ain't gonna snitch yeah. on your dude no, like you that. Don't. But if you're dealing with a bitch ass nigga on your squad, yeah. this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to smash. Hey, hey, you know, he he smashed some other chick right now, but what you need to do is fuck with a real nigga like me who can hold you down. Yeah. If the nigga trying to shark, well, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that ain't your homie for real though. Yeah. That. Yeah, hell yeah, great whites, tiger sharks, whale sharks, all hammerheads, all they're all out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, woo, man, it, it is yeah. a nasty world out there. And man, like I've done that. Like I had like home, you know, girls call up my phone talking about where's this nigga at, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 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 you know, I ain't gonna bust a smoking and look back and say, oh, oh he in the man. house. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh, shit. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's been many times before, and I ain't gonna say his name because, of course, but uh, he know who he is. And... Let's say his name. Y'all nope. always getting it on me to be blasting people. <laughs> shit. We gonna call this me in trouble. We gonna call this nigga uh, Kevin. So, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin and Kevin. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call this nigga Kevin. Yeah, man. Nah, Kevin's right, like Kevin. that because, I mean, after he done his duty and stuff like that, and be like, you like me? I'm like, hey, go ask him. <laughs> go, 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 go <laughs> ask him. I'm, and, I'm always the nice, my homie's always, always the nice dude and stuff like that. Yeah. Made, like, while they're dumb with them, they're like, oh, I'm going to get home and all that stuff. <laughs> but I'm like, be like ah, they got you know, Uber, I, they I, got I, I was young about this, folks. So I'm a nice, because I'm nice too. So, like, yeah. <laughs> No, no, I've been, there, I've been there, dude. No, Kenlin, you are the nicest. <laughs> dude. No, the, 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 quinti in the quintessential nice guy. Like, oh, like uh, if anyone said like I don't like Kenlin, I'm looking at them like, dude, something's <laughs> fucking wrong with you. Yeah, like yeah. for real, like, <laughs> like, dude, you're the nicest dude. Yes, and yes. um, and I, th I think with the problem, not really the problem with nice dudes, is because even when you're a nice dude and you get done dirty, you try to be. Everyone got a little grease ball in them. So you gonna word try to, Nori. You, yeah, yeah, word to Nori. You so you gonna try to be like, oh well, man, fuck I these tried. bitches. I'm gonna do this, but in your heart, that's yeah, not so really. Yeah, I, but I, the, I tried it too because it, it was, and then once I tried to do it, I'm like, like, oh, let me be, let me be a dick and stuff like that, be a douche. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't feel authentic, you know. It wasn't, it didn't, it don't feel genuine uh -huh. when, I, when you when you do it and stuff. But I, I appreciate that too, like when Jackson said, like I'm like one of the nicest it's just, dudes ever. It's just, it's because, yeah, and I like it because people. Can, they can defend you so I like if like if this ain't hanging on hanging out with a girl and it's like oh I don't know killing he's my thing like he'd be like nope no killing is nice he's yeah like, you know yeah saying? like you have a whole people to defend you and that's what I like about it yeah too, exactly bro, dude man. it's just really you know you're a good person oh he no that's a good person homie you better like it's just on, really man. about finding that balance yeah it is really finding that yeah, balance yeah. where you can be respected because if you're too nice she's not gonna respect you when she lo nope. loses respect this is a rat yeah. you know what i'm saying you ain't getting no play you ain't getting none of that shit so with fellas if you're listening to this you know i, I want to help out whatever knowledge i have to give to you guys don't be a doormat and mm -hmm. i'm saying this from experience homie i used to think that yeah you know yeah. conflict will you know, ah oh, man, I just want everything to run smooth, homie. The bad times are gonna come regardless. Even if you're agreeing a lot, if you're disagreeing a lot, you just gotta find the balance where okay, that oh he's sweet enough, but yet a woman's gonna test you, bro. She's gonna test you mentally. She's gonna test where you are. She's gonna see if you're uh, a stand up type of dude who could stand up for yourself, stand up for her, and maybe she could bury your children and you could stand up for your kids. That's how the the mm -hmm. the psyche like of a woman hang. and, and yeah. for a woman to test it and test your backbone because the end of the day, homie, you know some of the women I converse with, even if it's just on a regular shit or even in the sack, they want to be checked. Yeah, and that's that's real shit. Like, I want a gentleman, but like at the same time, I want him to grab my ass when I'm walking past him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it. When we say nice guys, we're you don't. It doesn't mean you have to be. 
Yeah, you know, the, yeah, a choir boy. boy. <laughs> but it's like, uh, yes, ma'am. continue being nice because that, if especially if that's the type of person you are, but at the same time, don't feel like if there's any conflict that that there's going to be an issue. If that makes sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we we don't want that. We don't want yes men around our camp. You know, just like yeah. everybody else. Like right. we don't want that. So if you're gonna agree with everything that I say, I'm just kind of like, Ugh. and I mean, and that's like I said to me, I'm really big on laws of attraction. And if you, most people that are nice guys, when the whole that's why I say it's like they're playing the victim role. It's because it's like you're already being negative. That you're putting negative energy out there. Yeah, you're mm. being you're putting mm-hmm. positive energy like, oh yeah, yeah, you and know, you're, you're being beautiful. Needy too. You're this, this and that. But exactly. But you're also, you know, mixing up the message because you're just like, okay, well, she likes, you know, freaking Joe Blow and I'm over here being nice to her, this, this and that. So like already already lost so you're already defeated in your mind and you're putting out those negative energies right. like and, i don't and, have that and correct me if i'm wrong for a from a woman's mentality does a nice guy have a somewhat of a entitlement to him he's like oh man i was so nice to you you know what i'm saying you were drunk ass home and i and i drove you home i you know any dudes could have raped you and yep. and i didn't do it it's like, yep, like, nigga, like you're supposed you to get a gold star because you're not supposed yep. to rate. You're not supposed. You're to not supposed to, to do yeah, that. You did the wrong. right thing. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And, and and I feel like sometimes nice guys come as disingenuous. And some that's it. why that's why sometimes I just say forget it, man. I crack jokes on females. Yeah, y'all go yes. crack jokes. Fuck it. We yeah. like to laugh. Or as a nice guy, just don't make yourself accessible like that yeah. all the time. Yeah, like no hitting problem. her up all the time. Yeah. And you know, females hate it too. Like, say they're really into a dude. And she's waiting for that good morning text. And then she looks on his social media. He's saying, good morning, world. Go get yours. Go get yours. Rise and grind. And she's like, but then she'll make excuses like, oh, man, he busy, man. He out there getting money. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's he got grinding. ambition. He's got ambition. I like that. But you know what the crazy thing about nice guys is are? They have a gang of homegirls. So, <laughs> so, so anytime you got your homeboys that are like grease balls, popular. they're always asking you. Oh, where the bitches at? Where the bitches at? Because they know you got all the homegirls. It's real shit. They ask me the same thing. They be like, I used to hate. Oh, you got all the bitches. No, really, homie, you want to say you got all the homegirls. I'm trying to stab. What's up? You know what I mean? Where are they? Where are they right now? You the plug. And I will run away with the plug. And and I will run off on you twice. (laughs) Maybe maybe even three times. Look, let me just say, I'm probably one of the luckiest dudes ever to be with my wife. We've been together eight years now. Uh, She honestly, the way, the easiest way for me to describe it, she says I'm the nicest asshole she's ever met. You have to find where the medium is. Like, I'm a super nice dude. I've only been in two relationships my whole life. I, you know, I don't know what it's be, like to be with Be an asshole around yeah. everyone else and be nice to her. And that's how well, she will feel and, special. And, the, you know, and she's like, she's been with a lot of dudes that were assholes and, you know, fake motherfuckers, bitch motherfuckers, all that types of shit. And honestly, the beginning of the relationship was super cool. But there was a lot after the first few months where it got real iffy because she didn't know how to act. Right. Because Ooh. of how nice I was being. Did, did, like, honey did, we, did we mention that in the DJ Kelly episode? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. She was, like, she was like, well, you, you're being so nice. There's got to be something wrong with why you're so interested in me and why you're being so nice to me and not treat me like shit like the rest of these guys do. I don't get that. So you have to find your balance. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm sexually attracted to my wife, and I let her know it all the damn time, whether I'm inside Walmart or in my own house. It don't matter to me none. That's what's I give up. a fuck. You know right. what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> it, it don't matter. I could yeah. be anywhere. It don't matter to me none. I let her know. And then, you know, there's times where you have to sit there and you have to stand your shit and be the man in a relationship. But look, with, with anything, with being the nice guy, you have to understand that there's parts where you have to be the one to take control and it, not just sit there and let her exactly. be the doormat. Don't let her run all over you because. That's not what they want. They want Mm-mm. to be in a relationship where you guys are like equals, <laughs> not where one of you is above the other. Like, we're super old school value. You could ask her, like, the way we raise the kids, the way we are together. She lets me be the man in public, but trust me, she runs the relationship. 
but it works that way. It, it, it's fine. You know what I mean? You just have to find out where you can be Masculine and feminine dynamics, do. man. Yeah. To- like, look, I like a good chick flick. I'll cry. It don't matter to me none. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, but that's fine. Me. That's you good. You show the emotions if you have to. Exactly. You just have to make sure you're in the right place to do it. Don't be a bitch all the time, <laughs> but sometimes you got to let your emotions out. <laughs> it's all good. Like all right, man. Like so you, wanna... anyone else got any last words parting from this topic? Like I said, I, gotta I pay mean, some me, bills. me in general, I like an alpha it's male with beta qualities. You feel them me? Them damn beta qualities, man. <laughs> Don't <laughs> listen to her, man. <laughs> them beta qualities are going to get you with no pussy. Because beta males, you know what beta males rely on to get pussy? Money, materialistic things, and finessing. Don't ever finesse a woman, dog. It's, nope. it's dangerous. That's some strange. Strong that's some, art. I mean, not necessarily strong, but finessing. I do not recommend that shit, bro. Shoot your shot. All right, so shoot your shot exactly. Shoot your Be shot. confident. Get Be confident, confident in yeah. your shot. Confidence is key. And, and, and confidence is key. Carl, confidence. And, and getting that Carl. motherfucking cut from K cuts is confidence that you can step up and take your shot. Oh, so yeah. go ahead and set up that appointment by calling six one nine. 582 KUTZ. Again, that is 619 582 KUTZ. And let them know that the jig is up sent you there. And if you mentioned that we sent you there and you mentioned the episode you heard this on, episode get, 18, you get $5 off. We grown now. 18. <laughs> we 18 we now. 18. 18. You know? Legal. And, 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 and K Cuss, man, they take pride DJ. in the customer service and a precision haircut. And they like to change lives with every cut. So check them out, man, if you're in the San Diego area. So let's move on. So now, speaking of getting a good haircut, it's attractive to women, right? Because mm-hmm. you put it out there because you're trying to attract women. It's the laws of attraction. So this was a con- this is, this was a this was a subject that uh, Miss Nessa wanted to mention called the laws of attraction. Yes, she wanted to go on it in on it. She mentioned it in her warm up. So I'm going to let her take the floor. Hey, guys. <laughs> Lots of attraction. All right. All right. So uh, in my warm-up, I talked about how in the beginning of the trip we spoke on uh, this and this is going to happen or whatnot. So we we did a verbal list of things that we wanted to happen on the trip. Like we said stuff like, okay, we're going to uh, get hooked up. Um, what else did we say? We said that, um, I mean, obviously we're going to have a good time. It was more so just like we were trying to speak things into existence. Even something as crazy as um, they, one of the girls said that they wanted to see a jaguar. So, like, I want to say it was like maybe day five, maybe, on our trip. And we was driving back from, uh, I forgot where we was coming from. We, we was always out and about. But... They seen, I didn't see it because I was, you know, Nessa always be asleep. But <laughs> they saw a Jaguar. And they're like, no way, we saw a Jaguar. So then on, oh, no, this was day six because the next day we did the ATV and we were talking to the uh, to the tour guy that was doing the TV, uh, ATV thing. And then um, Claudia was like, yeah, we saw a Jaguar. He's like, wait, are you sure you saw one? We're like, yeah, we did because we're like, oh, my gosh, that's a Jaguar. And they, like, looked it up just to make sure because it could have been a different um, animal. And then he wow. was just like, um, just to let you know, jaguars are more scared of people than you guys are scared of them. So they don't really like to be seen. So if you do, if you did see them, which can happen, it's rare, but it can happen, then it's considered lucky or something because it's not likely to happen. And he's like, I believe that you guys seen it, but that's, you know, that's crazy yeah, that you guys want to see it. You actually seen it. So that was one of the examples that I seen. Um, and another example, when we're doing the whole uh, hiking thing, which, like I said, we almost died. Um, on the way back, we it, it's weird. In Costa Rica, they have a thing where, like, you'll hear, like, the rumble, like, for thunder and lightning that's about to hit. And it's, like, it gives you a good maybe, like, 20, 30 minutes. And that's, like, a uh, warning, like, it's about to rain right now. So we're, like, fuck. So we're at the um, <laughs> we're at the waterfall, alarm, a waterfall putting our clothes on. We're, like, damn, like. It's supposed to be two hours walking. We, we're gonna hit. With, we're gonna be hit with the rain, so we're walking back up, and um, there was like three guys that were left behind too. We're like, um, hopefully they have a car because I don't think we can make it. So we're 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 walking, but kind of slow to see if we'll catch if they'll catch up. So we get to the top, and there's no cars there, 
right? So we're like, okay, they don't have a car, whatever. So we kept walking. Then the guys end up catching up to us. There's three of them, four of us. So they were all conversing. I was by myself doing my own thing because I can't speak Spanish. <laughs> and then we're getting to the midpoint, and then I see a car. And there's only one car left. So I'm like, oh, that's their car. Um, so one of the guys was like, hey, you know, you guys want to ride. Mind you, it was a little, a little um, what do you call it? Tracker. What I call the Jurassic Park car. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mind What's you. The Suzuki Tracker, I think. Yes. Yeah. There's seven of us. We're all grown people. So we're like, what the fuck? So they're like, oh, you know, come hop in with us. And we're just like, now nah, we're not going to fit. They're like, it's okay. Well, you know, and they're like, it's an hour from here to walk. And then um, Claudia and I were like, no, it's fine. They can ride with you guys, but we're just going to walk. Mind you, it's pouring rain. So my girls were like, no, if you guys aren't going, we're not going to go. Okay, whatever. So the point, of, the moral of the story to that was um, we spoke into existence that we wanted a car to be there so we can get a ride. It happened. It presented itself. We just declined it, right? Right. So, and the, and the reason for that was because Rocio, she's we were trying to kind of put her up on game about the whole like laws of attraction and how you can speak things into existence but if you don't really believe it mm -hmm. and it like whether yeah. it's in your subconscious or not like it won't happen right but if you really believe in it, it will happen so we said it but we weren't really specific with it we weren't like oh there'll be a car waiting for us in the front or at the top you know we were just right. like they're like hopefully they have a car and we were all like really like betting on there there being a car there was a car just not in the beginning or whatever and we declined it and walked in, which was crazy. But anyway. Um, but I just wanted to just mention that laws of attraction is so real. Like, people don't understand how real it is. And whether, you know, some people, I'm not even really, I don't like really getting on religion. But, like, whether, you know, you believe in God or Buddha or just a higher, Allah, just a higher Allah, be Allah. being, you know, like, it, it doesn't matter how you look at things or how you receive, you know, whatever you get in life. It's, it's. It's what you believe, and that's all that matters. But like I said, with laws of attraction, um, what was I going to say about that? Sorry. It's all good. I mean, w uh, while she's getting her thoughts together, I just do want to mention for what I think about laws of attraction. I want to call it laws of action because whatever you have instilled in your mind, that shit ain't going to happen until you take action. Yeah. You have to act upon it. You can't sit there and think like, oh, man, I wonder if this would be that. Or how, how would this be like that? That shit ain't going to happen until you take the first step. And they say the, uh, you know, a journey of a thousand steps start with one. So yeah. you got to you gotta go ahead and get on the grind. You know what I'm saying? Um, and But also, while you're on your journey, you got to celebrate the small victories. Small, yep. Celebrate the small milestones. You know what I mean? If it's fitness, oh, dude, I lost, you know, a quick two pounds. Celebrate that shit. Reward yourself. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, if it's just like financial, you saved up, saved up some money or you invested in some money, got a good ROI on it, celebrate. You know what I mean? If it's like social, like, oh, man, I'm more social now. I don't have as much approach anxiety with women or uh, I finally asked a girl out and she said yes you know celebrate it celebrate it even, even if she rejects you because you already, you already had the courage enough yeah. to ask her out in the yeah. first place right. you know what i mean all aspects of your life you know what i'm saying if you attract it if you want it put it out there in existence but it's gonna have to take action mm -hmm. doing is way more effective than dreaming about it mm -hmm. you gotta write it down like homie like if you look at my phone list man like of the guests the people i want to bring out here I'm going to try to make it happen. I want to unite with some of my fellow blurs during Comic-Con. I'm going to give it a shot. You know what I mean? I do want to bring... I'm going to say it out right now. I do want to bring uh, Black Nerd out here. Andre. I want to bring Ar yeah, Andre you, out I here. I seen you uh, send him a tweet. Yeah, I, I do want to send out... I still want to uh, talk to uh, the Black Girl Nerds podcast group yeah, definitely, out here. Man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do want to talk to... Uh, Confucius Jones and, and Fresh Knight from the, those damn comic book guys they come to San Diego Comic Con I have to realize that I have a, a city where people come to for many different reasons you know what I mean if I get big enough to the point that I could bring A-list artists that would be wonderful you know what I mean but right now I'm just gonna I'm just glad for the people who supported the show in the first place because in, in, that, in the laws of attraction you got to have uh, a sort of uh, a gratification some kind of um, not gratification but a uh yeah so a gratitude a list of gratitude the things yeah. that you're grateful now because if you're not grateful exactly. for this thing that you have around now how can you be grateful for the things 
in the future. You know what I mean? So I always keep that in mind too. Celebrate the small victories. Always have a gratitude list. Sounds corny as fuck, but trust me, it works. And then also experiment. You know what I mean? Um, it took me it took me a while to fully decide to go vegan. Um, because, you know, I always thought about health and fitness and what what can I do to take go to the next level? How can I uh feel better? Uh, internally and externally so I decided to go vegan I tried it out I experimented and I love the energy that I'm feeling I love how my skin looks I love how I sleep I love how I love everything about it you know what I mean it gets a little difficult but there are other but there's ways to get around it and it challenges me and then also it's beneficial for the environment and for the animals so that's how I think about it and um yeah man it's just laws of attraction just starting this whole podcast thinking Mm -hmm. when I'm listening to brilliant idiots tax stone or uh, any other podcast, and I'm like, shit, man, I could do this myself. You know what I mean? Right. It took some time, it took some effort, it took some money, it took some um, frustrations, some ups and downs. But hey, it's episode 18. We're here, and we want to keep it going. And that's what I got to say about that. Um, as far as me on uh, LOA, laws of attraction. If you guys don't know what LOA <laughs> means, but um, it's a process. You know, yes. you gotta, you know, you gotta know exactly what you want. Mm-hmm. You have to visualize it. First, you have to think about it. Then you have to visualize it. Then you have to feel the emotion of what you're desiring so you can ex- expect great success rates. Yeah. Also, you need to be confident and calm yeah. and conviction that what you want is coming. Mm-hmm. And like you said, you have to seize the moment. Yes, that opportunity presented itself with the car. You got you guys just decided not to take it. And that's mm-hmm. what happens. Sometimes mm-hmm. you, you uh, opportunity presents itself. You, it's there for the taking. It might yeah. be there for a minute an hour a day but it's up to you if you're going to take exactly. it and what you're going to do with it and you know you can't put negative energy in there like you could want something but it, if in your heart you feel like you can't obtain it then you probably won't exactly like if you're in debt you don't want to say oh i want to get out of debt because that is a negative thing you're exactly. like dude i'm trying to make like 50 grand this year you know what i mean i'm gonna get to 50 grand right. you know mm-hmm. or whatever you know monetary amount but yeah you know um like attracts like, you know. So yep. yeah, you gotta yeah, you gotta have uh, like goals and stuff like that. And you expect to like have bills. Like if you know like you go home and you have like a bill, or it's like oh man, you gonna get expect your mail and have a bill. Like and I like it, it's gonna be a bill when you're you get back home. Yep. Yeah, it's like that negative energy and stuff. And you have to have to stay positive. That's why I've been like my whole life. I just be positive and even if it at work and stuff like that. It's just it's. You know, I you have visions and stuff. You have a goal. You got to turn your rough draft to a masterpiece. That's the whole goal. Yeah, yeah. like that. Exactly. And, so, and um, yeah, it's just you always be positive. You're, you're not gonna mess up my day. You just be focused and towards your goal, and just yeah, just try different stuff out. And um, yeah, just have a, you have to have a vision of what you want to do, and just keep just keep going on it, man. It might take a long, might be short, might be long, but you yeah. just gotta. Gotta gotta you trust the journey. Trust the journey. Trust the process. Like, grind. But yeah. just as you know, and and the thing with being positive, people think you know, a lot. It's more okay. It's more easier to be negative than it is to be positive. It, yeah, is. it is. Yep. So, like for instance, if it's some, something as simple as you saying like, oh. And I'm, I love you, princess, to death. That's my sister. She would always say, "Man, every time I straighten my hair, the you know it rains," and whether or not you think that's a coincidence or not that's like i feel like that that was her putting out that energy like oh i'm straight my hair oh so that means it's gonna gonna rain rain. today so she's speaking into existence without without realizing she's doing it Mm -hmm. so just like we're telling you to be positive it's so easy to be negative like uh what else was i gonna say about that um oh something as simple as oh don't be discouraged okay something as simple as uh the lottery Okay, so you think, oh, I want to win the lottery one day. What do you have to do? You have to obviously purchase a damn ticket. That's number one. But just know that if you don't win that time, it doesn't mean that, okay, well, this doesn't work. No, that that just means that you really didn't believe that it was going to work because you're like, okay, me, one out of like, however, yeah, millions of people people are playing today. What makes you think that I'm going to win? You're already being negative. So, of course, you're not going to win the lottery. You know, so it's something as simple as actually like, believing that it's going to happen you could i could say anything right now just because i'm saying it doesn't mean anything so when i say speak into existence it's more what what's another term that we can use 
uh, I don't know, f- desire or like feeling into <laughs> existence, something. Uh, like internal manifestation, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta go ahead and internalize it. You know what I'm saying? It's sometimes not even speaking of existence because it's gonna be in your subconscious. You're gonna yeah. dream about it. You're gonna think about it. You're gonna daydream about it. If you're obsessed with it, you know what I mean? Day and night, night and day, it's really gonna get to you, man. But uh, I know it's getting closer to that end. Anything else? For everybody, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and just let people know. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Jig Is Up Pod. Follow us on Instagram, Jig Is Up Podcast. And if you have an email of any questions, comments, suggest or suggestions Please for do. topics, um, we'd like to interact it with you guys. Up. So yep. go on the on Jig Is Up on the Jig, <laughs> <laughs> Jig Is Up Podcast <laughs> at Gmail dot com or use the hashtag. Gig with the jig, spell G I G with the jig. J I G. Oh, no, no, the gig with the jig. Yeah, G-I-G. G-I-G. Oh, no, no, okay, got it. All right, I got you. All right, okay, I'm plugging that. Okay, so, um, man, also just make sure to stop by our website at the jig is up uh, podcast dot com. While you're there, leave a comment and a survey to gauge our listeners because we want to get to know you guys. We want to know the demographics. We want to know. Uh, you know, get to know we want to get to know you guys even better so we could just find uh, the right sponsors that tailors to our listeners. And that's about it. So we're going to end this with our little shout outs. We're going to go with ladies first. Ness has been the star of this show. <laughs> yup. I want to shout out to my girl who graduated. Like I said, she's remaining anonymous. And then also to my girls that I went on a trip with. Rocio, Brenda, and Claudia, who is now part of the Dirty 30 Club. So happy birthday to you. Happy we're, birthday. We were in Costa Rica it's celebrating birthday. her birthday. So it was it was a dope experience. <laughs> Go out. All right. Go out. <laughs> All right, Kelly, any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to my big bro, uh, Jock, man, for the work and no E. Keep doing your thing, man. You supporting the community uh, with the jer- making jerseys for the kids and stuff like that. You have them creative <laughs> ideas. Keep doing your thing, man. And also shout out to M Easy. Oh hey, yeah, M Easy, we miss you, bro. M Easy, keep grinding, man. Keep doing your thing. And iPhone we'll... M Easy, remember that. Oh, God. <laughs> Put some respect Bye. on it. See, even, even <laughs> not here, man. Hey, I hit y'all with the, the Yo, screenshots. Man, I was like Android. one person. <laughs> yeah. We don't need them. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, man. Oh, we'll Jock, man, I, I need a shirt or a hoodie or something, man. Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. man. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I seen it. It's just cool, man. I like what he's doing. Yeah, man. he's doing he's doing great, man. So All right. I'm proud of him. So Oh yeah, someone complimented me um at the gym yesterday. I was wearing, rocking the shirt. She was like, Oh my gosh. Well, I, I seen like your hoodie. Shirt. You had like a little dry fit joint and shit. Yeah, I have, I have like hell? four hoodies yeah. and a shirt. Damn. I'll be supporting. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's supporting. supporting. I'm pretty- uh, what's up? He, uh, it's I'm proud here. of you, big bro. See, look at that. Hustle <laughs> University. Take, 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 they already take, 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 a take, a notice, take a notice, man. So right. you're doing something right. <laughs> so, Mr. Oh, Zach. I got, I got I got a with? couple. Uh, first, you know, uh, shout out to uh, Daniel, a.k.a. Jamal, for coming through. <laughs> Haven't seen that dude in a while. I was just asking Marcus, hey, why hasn't he been there? Yeah. And then... He, he came with the laws, laws of attraction. <laughs> yeah. I put it into existence, man. Uh, yeah, my, my wife pretty pregnant. So oh, we've been congratulations. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, 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 hey, I, she, I she, she she hella eight months pregnant and we actually just went to the doctor today. <laughs> so we got to see the baby. Uh that's a beautiful she's, she's thing. She's super healthy, but they're she's a little light, so they keep an extra eye on her. Okay. So probably in the next couple weeks it's gonna happen. So mm. like I've really just been dealing with a whole lot of like family shit and doing That's all that. That's good. Thursday, yeah. Thursday is one of the only days I get off. Family work, first, yeah. bro. I work. Yeah, right. I work. I work two That's days. That's real. So Thursday is one of the days I get where I don't do nothing. So I try and come in here when I can. But uh, the last few Thursdays there's just been a lot of other stuff going on. So I've been taking care of that. So uh, <coughs> shout out to my wife because hey. she holding down that baby right now. Yeah, hey. she is. Hey, 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 and Dan, I, I'm gonna need a favor from you, my fam. Yeah, what's good, brother? I, I'm, I'm gonna need you to spread the word. The Jig is Up podcast out there in the in the El Cajon area. <laughs> tell a friend. Tell a friend of another friend, another friend of another friend's friend. I'll be telling my dudes at work. I don't know if they're going to listen to it. I'll be telling them about it. I'm trying to get some people on it. You got to blast it. I'll be retweeting yeah. it and everything like that. Too. You got to so blast I'm it. To get in there. Retweet. All right. But I, got um, you, but I got you. Don't trip. And also, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Jovan. We we hey. go back uh, like uh, do-rags under new eras. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
white big star white earrings, white, white uh, airbrush. Say What's Turkey? your name? On when uh, Jovan used to pull up in the pull up in the Lexus on uh, 22s, <laughs> or he might pull up on the the creeper white van. <laughs> <laughs> but uh nah man uh the bang bros, the bang bros, bro. <laughs> but Not uh the bang bros, yeah, man. Yeah. oh damn really call it the bang bros, man. but uh yeah man i'm happy You're to see this bro, dude man he's like... a he's a good dude man and uh i don't see him much but when i do it's always uh good vibes but the last shout out ashley aka miss minnie so she was on the show last week marcus went to ad yeah, I, I had to get out of my system, yo. I had to turn up a little bit at AD. So he hit me up, was like, hey, Zach, can you give Ashley a ride home? I was like, yeah, man, cool, no problem. So I gave her a ride home, and like Ashley always does, she forgets something. Just like we mentioned in the beginning of the show. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. So I get, I get home. I get home, go to bed, you know what I mean? Uh, the next morning, uh, I get a text message. Not a text message, I get a picture. <laughs> Oh, shit. And it's a water <laughs> bottle, and I go to Costco, so it's Kirkland brand. So it was oh, some dang. off-brand <laughs> water bottle, and my girl was like, "Who the fuck was in the car?" Oh, shit. I'm like, uh, I was just like, it was Ashley, and then like in parentheses, I never mess with her. That's like <laughs> a sister to me. Like, you know, I just gave her a ride home, but it was just like the whole thing. I was like. But I see what you try to did that do right there though. You try to catch me. Nice try though. So, the, like you said, the small victories. Yeah. Like cause she's trying to get me on it. So shout out to Ashley for me getting like the third degree early in the morning. But luckily it was kind of funny. It, it actually got my morning going with a laugh because she really tried to get me, and I was like, "Like you done? Are you <laughs> finished? You, finish? you done? Okay. Are you done? Are you finished? You done?" All so, right. uh, shout out to Ashley still for getting stuff in the whip. So, <laughs> damn, son. Yeah, that's damn. what's up, man. So, for my shout out, man, I want to give a shout out to a friend, acquaintance, Mr. Uh, aspiring director, film student, actor. His name is Edwin Ortiz, man. He just got accepted to the USC Congrats, School Edwin. of Cinema Arts, Congrats. which is the number one film school in the world. Congrats. But unfortunately, his father's not going to be there to celebrate it with him yeah he's, he's going through a trying time right now um i don't have the gofundme link uh for his, the expenses for his father's funeral but you know my hearts and prayers with him i almost lost uh, my father too so i can only imagine what the pain he's going through but i just want him to know that you know uh you know congratulations but yet at the same time uh congratulations on getting accepted to usc but at the same time, I just, you know, man, I just feel sorry that he, he couldn't get to show it to his father. You know what I mean? It was a very proud moment that he had. But I'm pretty sure your father's looking down. He's very happy for you. He's going to celebrate for you and just, like, live out with your – do it for your father's legacy, man, and go out there, blow up, graduate out of USC, become a dope-ass filmmaker, and hopefully – um, you make some dope films, and I get to watch him in the movies. That's dope. Or be a yeah, part of man. it. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, man. So if you enjoy listening to this podcast as much as we love making it, because we do what we love and love what we do, and if you're not being yourself, you know what I got to say. The, the jig, jig is, is up. up. And we out. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> not the bang bros band though oh, no. <laughs> you just you just band. never know it was it, it's either we were riding a school in the lexus or it was the or the white van <laughs>